hello friends welcome back to my channel so uh, today we are going to talk about another tutorial based on uh, static code analysis okay so if you have seen my previous videos uh, I have created one video where we had discussed about how to set up sonar cube for a st static code analysis and wall number T management right so in this tutorial I'm going to introduce you another tool called uh, PBS studio so before I get into the tool, let's talk uh, something about what is static code analysis so you can uh, get some understanding on that. Okay, so you may have some queries like what is static code analysis and what are the benefit. Okay, so uh, static code analysis, as you know, the name says it's an analysis of uh, the code, right? So this is mainly used to find errors or bugs or any vulnerabilities or any uh, code issues uh, in your application, right? So when you do a application development, you are writing a lot of code, so you need to check the code. So it, it we can do an automated code analysis. Um, we can easily find these errors and vulnerabilities, right? So there are a lot of tools available uh, in the market. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, open source. There are a lot of uh, proprietary tools available. So uh, PBS Studio is one of the tool. Okay, so this is uh, mainly used for C, C++, C Sharp, and Java uh, application. Okay, so what is the benefit of using static code analysis tools? It is like you know, when you uh, do an automated analysis of your code. You can find out the bugs or errors or vulnerabilities of your application in the initial phase or in the development phase of your application itself. So what usually happens is once you develop your application and if you find the bugs in the later stage, you need uh, more time to fix those and it's uh, going to cost you uh, more money uh, to rebuild or refix uh, your application. So this static code analysis will help you to find the bugs in the early phase of your development or early phase of your project. So as soon as uh, early you find the bug, you can fix it. That will reduce the cost involved uh, for your application. Okay. So before I get in to show you how the PBS Studio can be installed and how you can get the license, a trial license, or if you, you can buy the enterprise license from them and also how you can integrate with Jenkins uh, I would request you to subscribe to my channel like the video share and comment if you have not done yet so if you go to this site viva64.com uh, PBS studio download so you have a different option you can download it for Linux Mac Windows and there are different uh, sonar cube plugin you have Jenkins plugin so different uh, uh, you know versions you have so I'm since I'm using Windows I'll be downloading the dot exe file okay so once you download you will be getting like a, a PBS studio dot uh, setup dot exe you can uh, double click on this file and uh, you can follow the instructions you, uh, as I show you in the screen to complete the installation okay okay you can click on next and you can select the license agreement you can just select and here in this screen if you see you have an option to select which visual studio uh, is available in your computer you can select uh, which option and for me it's 2019 I have selected that and you have to click next so it's a straightforward installation okay so there is uh, nothing uh, big tough stuff so it's just the uh, next next installation and uh, you should have the PBS Studio plugin installed or extension installed with your Visual Studio. Okay. Okay, so let's wait for the installation to be completed. Okay, you can click on finish. Okay, so this uh, installation will uh, give you the, as an extension to your Visual Studio. So if you have Visual Studio application, you can uh, get the PBS Studio as a you know, extension in that application. So just follow the instruction I show you on the screen. Okay. 
so as the installation is completed you know uh, i have the visual studio open and i have a sample project which is an open source project as well now if you go to this extension you have uh, a new tab called pbs studio right and you have a lot of options like check uh, uh, you know if these options are there because i already run this uh, reports before if you have not run the check before you'll not be getting these options okay so to start with you know you can check some of the settings okay so i would recommend you go to the pvs studio documentation they have a clear documentation what uh, you can do what uh, settings you can check and the way you need to use uh, the static core analyzer okay so if i go to pvs studio and uh, go to options so you have a uh, different settings so you can check the you know uh, what kind of uh, errors can detect you can check the don't check file so if you have any uh, you know files or path need to be excluded you can check it here or if you have uh, you know something need to be included you can delete these things okay so i have ch made some changes but this may not be the default one uh, will be coming uh, when you install it so you can make the changes according to your need okay so once uh, that is done so the benefit is you can run this uh, scan directly from your uh, visual studio application itself so since this is a solution i will just run the check for the solution okay so let's wait for the uh, scanning So you can see, you know, there are uh, new uh, things coming on the bottom, right? You have uh, some things has been detected, right? So if you see, there are two high, five medium, and three low uh, warnings, right? So if you see, uh, these are some uh, things has been detected, okay? So if you see, the config file object was used to verify it against null, right? So it 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 tell you. Uh, different uh, parameters like in which file it is happening so if you double click on this it will open the file and which section it is happening it's also tell which line so 29 the, you know, or 330 in this case so if you double click on this you can navigate to that section where it's happening okay and the other benefits is like if you click on this show online helper message right so if you click on it it will uh, tell you the message how we can fix those things so what that uh, assignment of variable without use right here it is like also there is another help right if you click on that it will bring up on another way how to fix that like the variable is assigned twice x perhaps this is a mistake right so it will give you some lot of examples how to make use of this okay so you can see all this uh, your detected box you know is which category is all that is getting displayed here so the benefit is when you are doing the coding you can check it immediately here and there you can find this bug you can fix those things you can check the do the check again so you can correct it so you don't have to wait for you know the whole application to be developed right and it's not only for visual studio you can integrate pvs studio with other you know uh, coding tools like Eclipse okay so or IntelliJ so you can do all those things there as well so you can make use of that as well so you can check the documentation for that you can also save these reports okay so you can save it into your local or location and you can make use of that okay now since uh, PBS studio is a licensed version you can do a uh, start a trial uh, by sending a trial key for you can request for a trial key so you can select these options which you want and you can fill out this form so they will contact you and give a, a trial uh, license so you can test this application uh, and if you want uh, you know uh, enterprise license you can uh, purchase that as well okay so you can use this link i will link all these uh, web pages in the video description so you can go through it okay so the other benefit is like you can also integrate with uh, SonarCube, Jenkins as well. So in Jenkins, you know, you can go to manage Jenkins and go to your uh, manage plugins okay? and go to your available section. You need to search for this plugin called warnings next generation okay? and you have to install it. But uh, since I have already installed, if I go to install section, you 
you can see it's already available in the install section so uh, since i already installed it it's showing install otherwise for you it will be in available section you can select it and you can install it right so once you install it you can go to create a new project so you can select a new project freestyle okay and if you go to the post build section you have a option called record compiler warning and static analysis result okay so this option you can select and from the drop down you can use the pvs studio uh, sorry i'm sorry it's, it should be pvs studio okay you can select it and you know uh, usually when you have this uh, dot block uh, report which you can integrate here okay? so you can run this select this and you can run it so since i have a already run one of the build so you can see i have a something tab called pvs studio warnings and it will list you you know all those details like how many normal warning how many is the high how many is low so you can get those details here and you know files categories issues so all those things are listed here as well okay so I would recommend you to go through this documentation so I have a link uh, all those things so there are more features so I have not went through all those things so you can go through all these features and you can uh, read through it so basically you know uh, similar to sonar cube this is also one option if you are interested to check this from your end okay so you can go through this documentation you can get a trial license you can check those things how it works for you okay and there are other tools so i will be in the upcoming tutorials i will try to give some uh, reviews on some other tools which we can use for static code or vulnerability management as well so i'm hoping uh, this tutorial is informative for you and uh, thank you for watching so kindly subscribe to my channel and support like share and comment 